think of getting a glass table, just don't. It's clean now, but if I do this, fingerprint. With the cleaning out of the way, I'm going to try and do the three marker challenge. I have never done it before, but I'm going to try. So I, um, this is my markers. This is going to be kind of hard to pick without messing up my whole room. Look at this blasphemy. Can you clearly see I picked out an assortment of different colors because I have very many very similar colors but I've tried to pick a few so that I had something to choose from and I'm gonna mix them up before I pick them just so I know that it's like oh I knew there was pink somewhere around here but I'm gonna try not to pick anything that I know where it is. As you can see I clearly can't. This is not a dead animal. This is just very fake furry stuff. Please don't hate me for being beautiful. So I'm just gonna do that and hope they're kind of mixed. <coughs> so I'm choosing this one, and this one, and then this one. I think one of them fell on the floor. Anyway, I'm an adult. Oh, I can't use this one. Why do I still have this in my art shop line? Well, guess we have to choose another color. Damn it, it's coral. It's almost the same as the magenta, or it, it's not, but it's similar. Okie dokie. Well, let's go to my hobby room because I have a whole room dedicated for that stuff. Ooh, God. It's not very good. Nobody, nope, not in that way, even though it's shorter. I've got these three markers. We have the magenta, we have the cinnamon, and we have the coral. Both of these were basically red. I don't know why, but I got a feeling of candy. Maybe because this was a cinnamon one. First, I have to test them just to see if they're what I think they are, like a little paper to swatch them with. Of course I don't. But I found this. Isn't it adorable? First we have the magenta one. I was like, okay, there's nothing. I was gonna try the cinnamon one, but I changed my mind. I wanna try the coral one next to it just to see the difference in the color. <laughs> well, when they were both wet, they both looked kind of similar. And there's my cinnamon. And we have the cinnamon one. Cin cin -na -mon? Cinnamon. That's how you write, yeah, that's how you write cinnamon. Let's change that to an explanation point. Since I'm gonna cheat, if you will call it a cheat, I'm still gonna use black and white as some of my colors since they're technically not colors. Anywho, I'm gonna start drawing them.
stop it right there. I thought I was gonna do a background like ooh, let me do all this but it was hard enough just to do this and poopity poop. harder than I thought it was gonna be. What I had the most trouble with was that I couldn't get any depth, I couldn't get any contrast whatsoever, so the piece was just looking flat and bland, and I really didn't like that. Black and white saved my life this time. I don't think I would have gotten as smooth a result as I did if I didn't use those two colors. Even though that said, I'm really happy with the outcome. I had no idea what I was going to draw when I first started. So I thought, just draw the circle and start with this chibi face and it will look good in some way. I don't know. Um, what more was I going to say? My mind went completely blank right now. Like it does on a regular basis. This was a very fun challenge and I'm most likely going to do it again in the future. Probably with a uh, well more a more well-known character and not just something that pops up into my mind all of a sudden thank you for making it through this nonsense i bid you farewell ciao -io. nice and clean is that mouse poop Oh,